Welcome back to the second week of our study called Uncommon Community here at Harvest Bible Chapel, Kuala Lumpur. I'm so glad you came back for another week, and uh, we're looking this week at a command that Jesus gave to love one another. There's actually 35 or so different times that we are told to do something to one another, and all of those, all of those commands are describing how we are supposed to function together as a biblical community. Uh, not islands last week, not isolated, but interdependent like a body uh, is created to be. And so uh, this week, uh, the first command, love one another uh, as we begin. And uh, there's a verse that we're supposed to memorize. Uh, did you memorize it, is my question. Uh, I know uh, we uh, sometimes have struggled with that, and so last week I quoted the memorized verse, and, and you were probably all looking and not quite sure, right? So, so here, you were probably like this. Uh, Beloved, let us one, love one another, for love is from God, and, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. Now, now, we're supposed to be trying to commit that to memory, and, but actually more important than having it memorized is doing what it says. That's what we're going for. And so uh, the study tonight uh, is to help us understand that we don't just say that we love one another, but we need to prove it. We need to show our love by deed and by speaking truth. And so many times that's where we go wrong, right? It's easy to say, ah, I love you, man, uh, and, and, I, and I love you so much, man. We're praying for you. But, but do you really? Are you showing that by how you act? Really, love, it, it's, it's an action. It's not an emotion. It's not just a, something we say. It's something we do. And, and, and oftentimes the things that we do is to tell somebody the truth. Tell them and say, hey, man, this is God's word. This is the way it's supposed to be. And you might have to make some changes. I love you, though. And notice how you do that is so important. You can't just bop somebody over the head with truth. You have to love them and you do it gently, but you can't ignore the truth in doing so as well. And so we're trying to find out tonight in our study, how do we love? And 1 John chapter 4 already has described, our memory verse already has described that, but later down in that passage, it says this, 1 John 4, 20, it says, If anyone says that I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, whoever loves God must also love his brother. Notice how those two things go together. You can't love God and hate your brother. Actually, if you say you're loving God, you have to be doing deeds and saying things that demonstrate that you actually, truly love them. So tonight, the focus of our study, love one another, the application that we're going for, really in the form of a question, uh, what are your actions and truth-telling revealing about how you love other brothers and sisters in Christ? We're going to study this, and your small group leader now, he's going to help you read all through this passage, and you're going to have a discussion around that idea. But by think through this. Listen, not just know the truth, but, but let it sink into your heart. Let it ease into your actions. Uh, are my actions and the things that I proclaim about truth to others around me demonstrating that I truly love them? Let's figure out this study together as we grow to become an uncommon community. Small group, you are loved. <laughs> 